One of the greatest threats to LGBT people today is the Alliance Defending Freedom and Liberty Council. Their attacks do run the gamut from attacks on individual families to entire categories of LGBT people. These groups are scary. They're incredibly well-funded, well-connected, and determined. ADF alone has an annual budget of more than $50 million, has 42 full-time attorneys, and claims to have more than 2,000 affiliated attorneys. They boast that they've funded thousands of cases in excess of millions of dollars. Groups like Alliance Defending Freedom and Liberty Council have an army of litigators they have a long-term goal to chip away at LGBT rights. All the arguments that ADF and Liberty Council and other groups have made in their cases have been extremely harmful to the LGBT community. But in particular, their argument that biology is the only way to determine parentage and parent-child relationship has really harmed so many families. And their denial of the existence and humanity of transgender people, of course, has been extremely harmful not only to the people in the cases they brought, but transgender people more broadly. Groups like ADF and Liberty Council have been involved in a wide range of virulent attacks on the LGBTQ community, from efforts to establish a constitutional right to discriminate, for example, in the Masterpiece Cake Shop case, attacks on marriage equality, including through representation of Kentucky clerk Kim Davis. They have an agenda affecting the most vulnerable within our community, transgender youth. Families living in rural areas or conservative areas may be most vulnerable to these cases as well because the judges there may be more receptive to the arguments brought by Liberty Council and ADF. We need to be very worried at the moment Although the Supreme Court essentially punted in the Masterpiece Cake Shop case and denied review in the Arlene's Flowers case, ADF has numerous cases that it is proceeding with in state and federal courts trying to establish a constitutional right to discriminate. These groups have a long-term plan to deny dignity and respect to LGBT people and their families. If we ignore this plan, then we risk losing the gains we have made to recognize our humanity and our families. If these groups got their way, LGBT people in many parts of the country would be pushed back into the closet and would live our lives in fear. And with the announcement of Justice Kennedy's retirement, it's very likely that they will get a more receptive audience the next time they go up to the Supreme Court. To take away our fundamental freedoms that have been recognized by some of the highest courts in the land puts us back to the very darkest days. Individual lawyers can do something. It's extremely important for individual attorneys not to support the work of ADF and Liberty Council because supporting any of their work, whether LGBT or not, is supporting anti-LGBT discrimination. The LGBT Bar is asking attorneys to take a pledge to not provide pro bono legal services to groups like Alliance Defending Freedom and Liberty Council.